what is up guys? This is Kyle from KGR starting a brand new Let's Play on Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Alright, this is the PS3 port. It's HD, 720p, yay. So, yeah, this game should look beautiful. I had this game as a kid. I had it for the GameCube. And this is probably my favorite Sonic game of all time. Alright, so we're going to be starting with the hero story. You have a choice between either hero or dark. I'm going to be going with hero because I like the heroes. Alright. So, we're gonna watch the cutscene quick, so check that out. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route, everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. What? It it got it. Over. He's taken out everyone aboard and once more. Oh, come here. Over. I love this music. Talk about low budget flights, no food or movies, I'm out of here. I like running better. Yeah! All right, so now you can see Sonic skydiving pretty much into, actually I don't know if this is supposed to be, uh, what's it? But Station Square, or supposed to be Emerald City, I don't know, but fine, fine. This is, <clears throat> this level, this song, is such an iconic chapter of Sonic's history. And I still love listening to it to this day, I still love playing this race well, this race, this level, to this day. And the fact that it's back in HD is really nice. And what else? It was also remade in Sonic Generations. Uh, not bad, but gotta prefer this version because I love the classic version. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, uh, or Sonic Adventure 2 for Dreamcast. There are there's two different play styles. Or, like, not two. Oh, there's three. I'm retarded. There's three different uh like controlling mechanics or whatever in this game. There's speed type characters which are Sonic Shadow. Then there's treasure hunter types that are Knuckles and Rouge. And then there's mech users which are Tails and Eggman. And apparently, uh, Tails wasn't even supposed to be in this game, so they had to think of that last minute. So if you don't like the way that Tails plays in this game, think he wasn't supposed to be in this game, so be grateful, I guess. I personally don't really like the mechs or whatever, but it works. Oh, and if you want, you can actually try to search the whole level for every single ring, and if you find every ring, then you all might get an A ring. I think this is actually the first game that actually uh, introduces ranks. At first I thought it was Sonic Adventure, but no, those are just missions, not ranks. So, yeah, now you know. The highest you can get, uh, at least when you're doing levels, is an A. I believe Chalice can get S ranks, but I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, for all we know, A is probably the highest rank you can get. But now, the highest I've ever been was X, and that was in Sonic Riders. But when it comes to like getting like levels done, it usually it's S. That's the highest rank now. Oh, I didn't go off the ramp. Hey, if you don't wanna chase like this, but this is so iconic, I kinda wanna do it. You can just do a spin dash and just keep going down the whole way, and it's a lot easier for you. But sometimes you'll end up going back into the regular running motion anyway. So. Yeah. And it bothers me because I don't have a Sonic figure with Sonic having yes. soap shoes. Soap shoes are actually a legit brand of shoes, which are no longer in production, that actually have like grind plates on the shoes so you can actually grind down rails and stuff. And then uh, Heelys uh, came out and they also started implementing that so you can skate and then actually start grinding. Um, Hello, trophy! And I'm probably covering it depending on how I set up the face cam. I actually don't know how I'm gonna set it up for now. 
at least as of right now. This game of tag I'll probably put it in the corner, like the bottom corner. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay, bring it on! Fighter 3 Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Copy that. Okay, if you have the bounce bracelet, it makes this boss a little bit more easier, but right now we don't have bounce bracelet, so... Yeah. Normally what you want to do is, like, wait for him to start shooting. Not like that, but, like, once his feet actually start hitting the ground, that's when you normally want to shoot. Or not shoot, but attack. But if he's coming across you, like that, then you can do that too. But again, you don't have to. Ooh, that was a bad angle, I shouldn't have. That, yeah, it was a good idea not to jump at him. It sucks when you like, go to attack him like that, and you end up like hurting yourself like I just did right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Come at me, brah. Yeah, we never actually got to see him to actually go down and actually shoot us normally, like that's when we actually are supposed to hit him. But yeah. Oh well. I play by my own rules. Okay, anyway, this is the first game to introduce Shadow the Hedgehog, also known as Evil Sonic. <laughs> Dark Sonic, whatever you want to call him. But, he's Shadow. Don't call him Evil or Dark Sonic, that's noobish. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has to stick in me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! God, I love that! <laughs> then I looked like it was really bad, <laughs> but I love it so much. It's such an iconic part of the Sonic series. Hey, it's not his speed. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warn the Shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. Farewell. Good. What is that? See, as you can tell, sometimes the music it ends up being louder than the voice acting itself, so good thing they have subtitles. Just let it go! You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Hey. Look who's calling who a thief. I need it, following the signal from the Emerald. This is the Master Emerald, this is you, Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. What like it? Is something? I'll just take it with me. Farewell, Knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! What? what was that all about? And look what you did to my Emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. I'll get into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, bad girl. All the world's gems are mine! <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was Rouge the Bat. And if you watch Hedgehog the Sonic, you also know that uh, Knuckles is Nipples the Enchilada, Tails is Arms, Sonic's new best buddy, a magical Katsune. Katsune is the Japanese phrase for two on Fox. Um, and we have Batface the Rogue, and then Original the character. Do not steal. Okay, so I actually love doing Knuckles' story, it's, uh, well, Knuckles is part of the story, where you, uh, hunt the Chaos Emerald pieces. Uh, however, the way they implement it in this game isn't really right, because here in Sonic Adventure 1, right now we can only search one Emerald at a time, that's how it is throughout the whole game. And it's dumb, because in the first one, whenever you came across one, bam, you'll automatically have a radar going, no matter which one it is. So, the 
why they did that in this game, I have no idea, but fine, as long as it's still a great game. People say that this game didn't age all that well. Um, I don't want to say I disagree with them, I just don't know how it aged, like how it's, like, it didn't age well. Like, I want to like, like, again, I'm not disagreeing with them, I just want to like, hear their actual opinions, like why they think it didn't age well. Okay, apparently if you don't use the, what's it called, uh, these little, there's little monitors across the stage, so you can actually have help trying to find these pieces. But if you are going like I am right now and not using those monitors, you end up getting a higher rank. And depending on what your time is and also like if you use these things or not, uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's like that in this game. Uh, then, yeah, then you get an, you get a good rank or something. Because I know I think it's not like about your one. Uh, there's one mission you have to do where you can't use any of the things. Come on, no, 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 let me back down there because I know the emerald piece is down there somewhere. But I don't want to use those freaking things. My friend Justin is actually playing this game right now too, and no, it didn't motivate me to play this game. I actually was going to play this anyway, so the fact that he was playing it was a hilarious freaking coincidence. Where is that emerald piece? Okay, so far it doesn't look like it's up here, so let's try digging down here a little bit. Like sometimes it's actually floating, like in this, in this thing. But I don't know. Oh, what happened? Like it was like red for a moment. Oh, I know it actually could be floating. Where in the world is it? Well, you're blinking red for a minute. Where'd you freaking go? If I'll find it within the next 30 seconds, then I'll start using the uh, monitors. Good God, where are you? Are you in here? Nope. Ugh. Crap. Hold up. I think I might know where it is. I think it's like on that, uh, that base or whatever, but how do I move it? Do I actually just punch it and it moves? Because I can't do shovel claw just yet. Yeah, look, look. Yeah! Alright, let's go back above ground. Where will this one be? Here? I, 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 I. Hey, nope, not over here. Not over here. Huh? Yeah, how close am I? Uh, um, cold again? Okay. Oh, I see it. Ow, you douche! <laughs> found it! I found him. Yes, I did, Knuckles. You didn't find him. Not too bad. Eh, yeah, I should probably start using those things. <laughs> I'm not gonna go after every rank. That is freaking hard, and especially when you're trying to get an A rank on everything. There's no mistake about it. This must be the army. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic was destroyed the military building or robbed the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. What? Hey, look, it's Amy. And Eight Man, too. What's Amy doing here? Where can I find this Eggs Man? Because she's in danger. Tornado transformation! No, I'm not doing a Transformers thing again. <laughs> but it probably would have been funny. <laughs> Transformation Transformers more than meets the eye. <laughs> Remember, I did that for a Sonic Adventure DX, and that was hilarious. Okay, we just gotta pretty much spam the square button in order to play an Xbox X. Yes. Yay! 
Yay! Oh yeah, they tell you to press circle or B. You can press X or square. So personally, I find it more comfortable because I've been playing it on the GameCube for many years. So. This time I'll let you go. But the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Oh yeah, Eggman. <laughs> wow, Tails, you did it! Oh. Whoops. Fail. I know Eggman. I good again. Okay. Oh man, I love the music in this game. I think actually my favorite song out of the whole soundtrack is probably Metal Harbor's theme. Which should happen next part. Okay, so with Tails, we just make everything go boom. We get from point A to point B while making things go boom. If you like that, well, this is the game for you. A lot of people don't like this in the game because it just doesn't feel like Sonic. Like, they're used to Tails being moderately fast and, you know, being able to fly, not being locked in his plane as a walker and whatever. Fine, fine. I like the music in this game, and I like this, like this song in particular too. This is a good song, but again, it's not my absolute favorite soundtrack. I think it's my favorite, favorite track out of the whole soundtrack. I actually have the soundtrack on my iPod. No, I'm not that much of a freaking hardcore fan. Okay. So as you can tell, you can shoot down these robots in order to get past these little gates. And sometimes those guys suck because you can't actually point up. You actually have to, like, get it in the laser's vision in order for you to get it. Oh, did I just stand on this thing and then it goes up? Oh! Is there some that actually involve a key for it to go off properly, I think? I have no idea. I can't remember. But you're about to see it pretty soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, in this playthrough, I'm not going to be doing a child garden because... I don't know, I just... I'm not devoted to this child garden. Not that there's anything wrong with this one compared to the original. It's just that I spent so much time on my certain child, Angel, on my GameCube uh, run, and I don't want to cheat on it by working on another child. I only worked on, uh, like, I worked on a few chows, but Angel is my favorite one of all time. And there actually is a way that you can copy chow, so, like, you can have the same chow in Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2, at least for the GameCube. Um... If you want me to do a video about that, let me know in the comments, and I will be sure to post that on both my channel and Peripheral Vision, because, um, and it'll actually give me an excuse to actually do a review of the link cable itself, and then I can actually show off that I can copy Chow. And actually, uh, like, I'll do a, a, a review of the cord itself that, uh, makes it so the GameCube, I'm going to do the Game Boy can hook to the GameCube, uh, whether it be for the Game Boy player or to do certain things in games, like in this game, uh, you can bring your child to the Game Boy copy of the game, whether it be like Sonic Advance 1, 2, or 3, and take care of the child through that. So it's almost like the Poker Walkers equivalent to a Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So it's really cool. The way that they show up on the, uh, on the Game Boy is kind of weird. Like, if you have a hero chow, it won't show up as a hero chow. Or if you have a dark chow, it won't show up as a dark chow. In fact, it's actually just pretty much like a black chow. If I remember correctly. So what we gotta do is go up here. That one. Bam! Then that door's open. And I believe every level has a power-up that you can get. The power-up in this level is right at the end. Which you can't even access yet because we need another power-up in a future level. Which you can actually go back and do the levels whenever you want. Or am I wrong? Nope, you can't get to them yet. Or? If I'm wrong. You have to t hit that one without hitting the goal. Then you gotta get some power up and blast through them, which is the bazooka, like towards the end of the story, for hero, hero story. Then you can get through that, unlock whatever, then you can come out and win! I did it! Yeah, go Tails!
was easy. Yay. All right, now we got three emblems. Yay. Now loading. <laughs> We never got loading screens like that in the GameCube version. I'm not sure about the Dreamcast oh, version, but I know the GameCube Jamie, version didn't keep have your those. Voice down. Have Shut up, Amy! Hey, Amy Rose is here! How'd you get here? Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Tails. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it! The reason I'm in here because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? As you can tell, the lip sync is still not great. No so that's one reason why this game didn't age all that well. Uh, I know with Sonic Adventure DX's, or just Sonic Adventure as a whole, the lips were so, so bad. But this one's a lot better. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? Wait for me, Sonic! He's such a brat sometimes. And we are going to continue this Let's Play next part. Next time we're going to be doing Metal Harbor, one of my favorite one of my favorite levels, and my favorite theme throughout the whole game. Hey, pause! Pause! There you go, good boy. Alright, so if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then be sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tune in next time for some more uh, Sonic Adventure DX. Not Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah, tune in next time for some more Sonic Adventure 2 battle. And also be sure to like my Facebook page because then you get alerted when I upload my new videos. And if you like pictures of action figures, go check out my Instagram. Links for both of those will be in the description of pretty much like all my videos now. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys next video.